Oh, 1400s, no. Well then. Um, it's got to be a chlorophyll shifter rather than Windrider, right? Like, this is not a Tailwind team, so I would assume that the shift doesn't have Tailwind and wouldn't be Windrider. Clods I could be unaware, which means my Dondozo isn't as good against it. But then if it's Water Absorb, then I can just EQ. But I don't know which one I can do Wave Crash or EQ until I find out when I click the button. A Golden Go lead seems reasonable, because this is Venusaur, not Lilligant, so they can't after you eruption if they lead with Venusaur Torkoal. Actually, just Glamora and Volcarona is the lead. Seems pretty good. So you can only Sleep Powder one of them, and then the other one can start to deal with the Torkoal. Hmm, is pretty good here, though. Oh well, too late. Ten seconds left. Paxcalibur was definitely good here. Ooh, they might have timed out. Always pay attention right at the end in the last seconds, because if they leave with Indeedee Gastrodon, I believe they timed out and have Torkoal and Clodsire in the back. Mm, that trainer card's alright. Okay, they didn't time out. Cool. Now, would Struggle Bug and Sludge Bomb KO the Indeedee? Because it is a super effective hit, and that was not a Psychic Seed Indeedee. Overheat and Sludge Bomb would, but then I don't reduce the power of the Torkoal. And I can miss the Overheat. Could just light screen and struggle bug and accept the trick room and try not to care. I think I'm going to double the Indeedee with Overheat and Slut Bomb, because that definitely KOs in the sun. And if they're trying to protect in trick room like this, then I just need to hit the Overheat for Corona. Thank you. And then this is definitely a KO. Yeah, look at that. Easy. So thank you for the sun boost. It's one of those times I'd prefer flamethrower because that would have been a guaranteed KO into the Indeedee rather than 90% chance to KO. Oh, and they have Venusaur waiting in the back. Okay. So... It's definitely worth going for light screen now, I think. And an overheat in the sun. Like, I don't really care about this Torkoal. I'm just going to keep attacking the Venusaur. The Venusaur's the bigger threat to the Dondozo. I would assume they sleep out of one of them. And the Torkoal's not choice specs or anything, so... Well, they're terroring. I assume this is a defensive terror, so they're not weak to... Fire, right? Uh, that is very much an offensive terror, as well as technically defensive. So I think I would have preferred Struggle Bug now, because that's KO into the Glamora for sure. I did debate a Terra Grass just to avoid Sleep Powder, but that would have obviously also worked pretty well. But this is still a good chunk into the like, it, like it's minus two, but it's in the sun still. Like, that's a very good chunk. Full power eruption? Yep. Yeah. They just went for it. This will KO, I think. Not quite. Okay, cool. Um, might not be Charcoal then. I reckon Charcoal would have got me. So, now I need to dodge a Sleep Powder with Don Dozo. Hopefully they are not clear smog. I will order up the Venusaur and switch. So it gets rid of my minus four drops as well on Volcarona. 
And if Venusaur is KO'd, then Volcarona outspeeds both other Pokémon. So it'd be able to overheat whatever comes in at the end. So what was it? Clodzire? Um, Shiftry? And obviously not very important if I can't remember it. So let's just dodge the Sleep Powder and make it quicker, please. You have to sit through the boosts every single time. They will hit the Sleep Powder because I always get hit with Sleep Powder. Oh, they're just switching straight away. Fair enough. Oh, Gastrodon. <laughs> that's, that's the unimportant one. Sorry, Lou. <laughs> oh, nice. They did not Sleep Powder, so the game is surely just over, right? Because this KOs. Like, yeah, the Gastrodon could have Clear Smog, but I don't think I really care at this point. Torkoal could have Clear Smog as well. Like, one of them surely has Clear Smog. I reckon EQ is optimal here. Because I can't KO either Pokemon, but I should be able to two-shot them both. Maybe not two-shot the Gastrodon with an Earthquake, but... This is forcing the Torkoal to protect, and then it's just not doing anything, but it didn't protect. And now this is massive damage, which means my Tatsugiri should just be able to win now. Because, yeah, oh, that's loads. Um, no clear smog from the Gastron, but that's in Dragon Pulse range. So I just click Dragon Pulse twice if they... Oh, they're Scorching Sands, fair enough. This is me just theorizing, like, if they have clear smog, but apparently they don't. This is going to burn, because why not? Nope, that's fine. And Lefties is way better than Citrus for me. I shall simply EQ again, and seems good to me. It didn't protect, so this hopefully speeds it up, because theoretically I can KO the Gastrodon, but it's going to survive just a... Nope, it's not going to. Because I did just over half, and I did just over half again. So, nice. That was very convenient that they did not click Sleep Powder. I think I was still perfectly fine if they did, because I'm because of my Assault Vest. They were just not breaking through the Dondozo quickly at all. It's not going to be many points, because it's always less points when it's 1400s. But again, slowly climbing. It's always a slow climb. Can never get a true streak. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. Uh, I'll take it less, because we've already established slacking is really bad for me. Alright, so I'll need to burn it. Uh, th th this is theoretically more manageable because there's no Dondozo as well. Um, so what? Volcarona and a Golden Go. Seems good. They'll be able to spawn my Golden Go with the Weezing Toad Scroll. I, well, I can spoil my, my goal and go even without the wheezing. Um, but yeah, I definitely still want to Dondozo it. I don't think I need Backscalibur. Demora is fine. Hmm. If they have Typhlosion. If they lead Typhlosion, it should be alright, because I can just go for Protect and Tailwinds. And Volcarona should live. So yeah, I'm content enough with this. If they leave with Grafire and Slacking, then that's obviously the Doodle stuff. That's a cool training card. Alright, Toad's cool easy. That's fine. So my Volcarona isn't max speed, so this Toad Scroll, like I'm gonna play as if this Toad Scroll does outspeed me. 
I will still attempt to Tailwind, and I will attempt to make it rain. This forces the defensive terror on the Weezing into its fire, but then that makes it um, better for my Dom Dozo because I can just go to the Wave Crash now. Oh, it's dark. I mean, that's still technically a defensive terror, but that's better for me. This is randomly dark terror blast, so is the Toad's Crawl max speed? I did assume it would be, but that's alright. So I was debating protecting Golden Go, and I'm glad I didn't now, because this is very good damage into both Pokemon. That is fantastic damage into both Pokemon. And that won't KO, it would have done with the Terra Fire. That's fair enough. So, I still want to try and Tailwind, that's better for me if I do. And they're forced to Earth Power now because of the burn, they can't spore me. I think Protect here is fine. But what if they Acid Spray and Flamethrower my Volcarona? Then they made a good play. So. Okay, cool. I made the correct play. If I wake up here, then I'm in a fantastic position. If I don't, then whatever. That's alright. It's a 50 50 next turn. Mm. That's alright, because they needed a second crit to be able to get me. I will Tailwind, and I will switch to Don Dozo here. Yep, I see. That is a solid play, because it preserves my Golden Go. Like, there's no reason to lose Golden Go, just when I can take a little bit of chip from Earth Power. That seems perfectly fine with me. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Now, did they spawn the Dondozo? Could I afford to switch back to Golden Go and Tailwind? Or do they have power to KO the Volcarona? Hmm. I think accepting the spore is fine, because then. Oh, yeah, because even if they spore. Then, yeah, even if they spore, then I guarantee to wake up with the Volcarona and I get my Tailwind. I'll lose the Volcarona and I can make it rain and burn another sleep turn. So that's fine with me. And they can't defensively terror with the Toad's Crawl, so the Make It Rain is a guarantee KO. So, and if they don't KO the Volcarona here, which obviously they will, but if they didn't, then I would have just been able to, um... Struggle Bug or Overheat would have been fine. This is a very good position. Um, in fact, it could be Tatsugiri and just Dragon Pulse the Toad Scroll, right? Because I won't jump into the Dondozo's mouth because of the wheezing. And a Quad Resist Flamethrower, and obviously Dondozo doesn't care. And then I can... Next turn I can Dragon Pulse KO the Weezing, then jump in the Dondozo's mouth, and then have a boost for the next Pokemon, right? That works, doesn't it? Because then I don't take Burn Chip from my Golden Goins, because it's only got two more turns left on the field. Right? Because Dragon Pulse is definitely going to KO... Did they have a Fairy? They didn't. Okay, cool. So yeah, I can go for Dragon Pulse KO into the Toad Scroll, because of my Tailwind Dial Speed. Um, I might wake up, and if I do, then I immediately jump into the, into the mouth with the Tatsugiri. Um, I will order up the Toad's Crawl as well, because if they switch, because I don't care about the Weezing at all. Um, and if I do wake up, then it just redirects into the Weezing anyway. 
Oh, and, and, yeah, no, I, I can start to, no, I'm not going to jump into the map because I didn't care the wizard. I was thinking, well, I jump in and then I get a boost, but I don't. Um, but I do wake up, so. Okay, here's the wheezing. Now I get my commander, and things are looking pretty solid. <coughs> it's a shame I didn't get the order up attack boost there. Now I get now I get the Tatsuki in, but that seems fine with me. The only real damage left is slacking, isn't it? Mm hmm. And Typhlosion. That's good because they are forced into a Truant here. And I still have Tailwind, correct? I do still have Tailwinds. They've used their Terror. There's nothing stopping, stopping just an Earthquake KO now, so I think I'm sorted. Be good. And then. I can click basically whatever attack into this lacking because it is truanting. That was reasonable, but yeah, li literally any attack KOs the this lacking from here, so. Good. Wheezing's lacking was very bad for me in that first game of the entire run, but then that seemed quite reasonable. I, th I think it's the fact that in the first one it was slacking, wheezing, and also Dondozo. And I'm bad against both. I can manage one of them, but well, I can manage slacking. Other Dondozo I still need to figure out. Ooh, maybe one game away from 1600s. I'll take it. I'm in the top 1000, so that is currently still championship points. Like, this entire run of suffering is worth it if I get any championship points, because every little does help with the new system. With it being not a CP bar instead, but top 75 in Europe. So every little bit of CP does add up. Ooh, that will put me in 1600s were I to win. Interesting. So it's, it's got to be a offensive mouse hold. They can Sacred Sword past my boosts, so I surely do not want to Terra Steel. Volcarona to match their Tailwind seems pretty reasonable. Only them leading with Glamora would stop that. And then if they do lead with Glamora, then my Golden Go is good against it. And I do want to Dondoso this. Spaxcalibur is... Fine, but not great. Glamora is fine, but not great. So, yeah, I think I'm content with these four. Mm, that's not a very good trainer card. Okay, they did lead with Gamora. So I think it might be reasonable to Terra Dark here. Would I need to save my Terra on the Dondozo? I don't think so. Water's good, so yeah, I, I will Terra Dark here. Um, this also stops an Encore um, in the future. Do I match Tailwind? Uh, this means I'm weak to Moonblast, so I'll just be KO'd on the Volcarona afterwards, but I think that that would be okay. And they cannot KO my Golden Go in one shot here. Even if they're like Choice Specs Earth Power, my Golden Go is safe this turn just to make it rain. If this forces the defensive Terra from the Glamora straight away, that would be nice. But they don't Tailwind. Hmm. So they got to defensive Terra here. Fine with it being a King Gambit. That, like, King Gambit is bad against Dondozo. So this is a very solid turn one for me. Because I either force their terror immediately, which is very nice, or I just KO the Gamora, and if it's Sash, then they can't Meteor Beam me and it's weaker. That is also perfectly fine. S 
so. That's probably Assault Vest based on that damage. So I don't think a Sucker Punch can Oko me. Do I think an Overheat would KO? Would that even be worth it? So I could overheat the Glamora covering for a defensive terror. Unless it's water, then that doesn't work. I can't struggle bug in the face of a King Gambit. I think I'm going to overheat the Glamora. And if it's a grass terror, that would be lovely. Oh, I'm a genius. And I'm going to get punished for a good play by missing overheat. No, I'm not. Okay, I can still play this game. Very nice. Huge threat to my Dondozo, taken care of. No physical attack, so no toxic debris. Uh, they're probably going for Kowtow Cleave here, and that should KO my Golden Go, but that's fine. I don't need Golden Go anymore. Because that's in range of Earthquake and they can't tear her out of it now. Oh. Apparently my spreads are still gold tier. I would have preferred to be KO'd there. So. I will overheat the Whimsicott and I will switch to Don Dozo. I'm going to assume this is a Sucker Punch into the Golden Go, and if I got it wrong and they Kowtow Cleave, then Bondozo has taken unnecessary damage, and I might have given them a chance back into this game, but I made a good start. This can still be Sucker Punch, because this would go before a Sucker Punch. Like so, so I can still play this game somewhat, sometimes. Volcarina's doing well so far. The only overheat it's missed so far has been when I've already won the game, so this is, this is going all right. This is going all right. Um... Can I just Dondozo now? I think I can. Because it will get rid of my drops as well. So yeah. I will Dondozo here. Because both Pokemon are in range of EQ. Happy with that. Because they can't do anything with King Gambit. And this thing is taking Earthquake damage. So. I'm very happy that this is taking Earthquake damage. Because that means that they... Um, they brought in their white guard Pokemon, but that doesn't matter. Now they're going to be in range of whatever attack. And a Sash has been broken. Were it to be Sash. And if they suck a punch, it will do not much. Um, is my Tailwind running out this turn? Because if it is, then the Glade can Sacred Sword pass my boost just once. But yeah, that's really not much. <laughs> Yeah, loads to the Glade. <coughs> I think I'm being pretty confident in this. Even though they can Sacred Sword past my boost, that will not be enough. Yes, they are now faster, but who cares? Okay, so I don't want to Earthquake here. Actually, no, because like, I was just thinking if they White Guard and, and Encore, well, it doesn't matter what I click this turn. But I will order up into the Galaze just to be extra safe. And if they White Guard and Encore, they will chip down my Dondozo eventually. Like so. Yeah, cool. So this will be a slog. But I still think I'm good. Because they will break through my Dondozo eventually. I could Terra Steel. Do I need my Terra? No, I can't Terra Steel. I've done the Terra out. But, yeah. Um, this is a situation where I would have preferred not to have PP up to my Earthquake. Because they're forced to Wide Guard and Moonblast. And this will take a while. Yeah. That. Will that get me eventually? It should. I'm thinking of their PP. Like, 16 will get me. If they forgot to PP up, they might not be able to get my Don Bozo.
And they have to spend turns going for Encore as well, which is using up my Earthquake PP. Yeah, that's 21, so it'll still take a while. Like, is Timer Stalling? Timer Stalling's optimal here, right? Because they're down to two Pokemon and I still have all four. I don't want to do that. Yeah, like, I've still got loads of your time. Because they're forced to still White Guard and Encore here. It's the GC. This may not be so entertaining, but as far as I can see, it is te technically optimal now to start timer stalling. Just in case. Just in case. I will need to make sure I'm conscious of my your time. That would be a rubbish way to lose. So I think I'll give it two more rounds of timer stall and then I will just start attacking because I'm definitely not going to lose to your time. Not in this position that is very good. So I would like to know how many minutes it's been so far. The only way I'd be able to check is if I stop recording and then check, and then obviously it would just miss some things. But it's got to be at least 10 minutes so far, right? It's been 10 minutes and 43 seconds. Can you imagine if I'm correct? I mean, you are, you are able to check. Because the video is now recorded, at, like, not, not right now, but you know, in the future. I did 19, so slightly less than last time. <coughs> and the animation of it, like hitting the protected Whimscar and also hitting the protected Gallade is nice for my time of stalling. Because those seconds add up. So I'll just wait again. Like, this is an amusing... Like, this, like, these kind of positions are amusing in Pokemon, where, like, you know, Don Dozo wins against Gallade and Whimsicott, like, every single day. Except for this one situation where they've actually technically got me pinned with my Garden Encore, but that's not enough for them. If I had lefties, um, then they would not be able to break me quickly enough as well, but my Assault Vest is definitely helping. Because this Whimsicott is not able to break through quickly at all. It will technically, with, it, like, infinite PP, and I probably still has enough PP, will technically break through the, the Dondo say, but... As soon as any of our PP run out, then I still win. Because either I can't Earthquake anymore, therefore I can switch moves, um, or they've Encored me and I'm still locked into Earthquake, but then I will struggle and Oko one of them. I say Oko. Knock out one of them from the rings they're at. Now they need to spend another turn on Coring, which is another turn they're not Moonblasting. So. I said one more round. Like, you know, I've still got two minutes and all that. That's perfectly long enough. Actually, no, because they're getting me in range of... Yeah, Timer Stall was definitely optimal, because they're getting me in range of um, Sacred Sword. So as soon as they're confident enough they can get me in range of Sacred Sword, then they'll go for Tailwind and Sacred Sword. But it's, it's going to be another Wygarden Encore for now. 
I've got time. How much does the Sacred Sword from Gallade do? I'm going to assume it's just clear amulet. Blondozo. So, if they are max attack, Sacred Sword... Ooh. Looks like I am... In, a, in range, roll-wise. Uh, that's if they're Adam and if they're Jolly. If they're Jolly, I probably live. They need one more Moonblast to guarantee that I am in range. So... Yeah. I'm conscious of my your time. Less than two minutes. <clears throat> like my Tatsugiri is bulky enough to survive a... Um, this is my last timer stall. I won't timer stall from here. Unless I see the three minutes pop up. But, um... Yeah. They've got to realise that Tailwind into Sacred Sword is now the correct play. I am in range of Sacred Sword. The fact my Tatsuri won't be caved to a Moonblast is perfectly fine here, because I'd be able to uh, normal Terror Blast KO, which is quite amusing. So, yeah, I won't... Nope, I can't. I was going to click Earthquake, because I can't have slam yet. Let's just keep attacking. Nope, nope, they don't realise that I am not in range. That's an extra turn wasted for them. I'm definitely in range now. Like, I am for sure in range. So, it should be Tailwind and Sacred Sword this turn. Especially because my Encore just ended. No. No, they didn't realise. Okay. That's fine. Are they just going to commit to the White Guard and Encore Moonblast lock? Because, like, like, as far as I can see, Tailwind and Sacred Sword is just a KO, and there's nothing I can do about it. I am now in range. Only got five EQs left. Yeah, yeah, they don't realize still. They're just going for this pin. Gotta realize. No, still haven't realized. Tailwind and Sacred Sword. Come on. Surely we're close to three minutes at this point, right? I feel like this has gone on a while. This should be close to three minutes. Oh, that was a turn I should have heavy slammed, but, you know, doesn't matter. Yeah, because they're still just committing to this. However, however, do they KO me? Like, I think they do just as I... Just as I run out of PP. That'd be quite annoying if I'm like, oh, I could have just struggled and won. But I think I'm, yeah, I'm going to be just in range, because... Two more Moonblast KOs me. Come on, realize. Tailwind and Sacred Sword is your best play. Oh, now they're wasting time. Nope, still just White Guard and Moonblast. No, that, that's not, not optimal. <laughs> Damn, one more. One more turn, and I'd have been able to struggle KO with a Dondozo. <laughs> Come on.
Come on, where's my three minutes? This has been a while. Come on. I've forgotten how healthy my Pokemon are. Ah, oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, that, oh, okay, I see, I see. I take it back. That was optimal. And that is really annoying because now I could have struggled. Actually, though, that was right, and I think they might have found the way back in the game. Especially because the Encore's gone now as well. Ah, oh, rubbish. Try and Encore me. Don't Moonblast. <laughs> No, no. Oh, there's the three minutes! No, because now my Tatsuguri takes two secret swords. No, no, I think they've actually got this. Oh, if they've got this, this is going to be so annoying. Because, yeah, I was always living that. Oh, Volcarina. Oh, Volcarina is dark. No! They win! No! Oh, what? No. That's so annoying. There's no way back in, because I'm, I'm a dark type. No! <laughs> and the golden goes in range of Moonblast. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I, I take it back. They may, they were absolutely making the correct play. They were stalling out so that they could get the chip into Satsuguri, because if, if I had that, then I would have been all right. But now, now they do win. That's really annoying. Um, Yeah, there is nothing I can do. Damn. Oh, and I needed a little bit more time as well. Well done. Well done. Ah, oh, that's, that's got to be one of the most annoying losses I've had in a long time. Because, like, like I, I, if I'd have seen their path of, well, I'll chip them down, and then I can Sacred Sword the Tatsuki. Like, I didn't realize that, and I should have done. But then there was nothing I could do about it. Ah, oh, so annoying. <laughs> So I guess EQ in the King Gambit was not the play. If I'd have just done any other attack, I would have been alright. But, alas. That's so annoying. Ugh. That's easily going to be the most annoying loss this GC run. And there's going to be so many annoying losses. Because the GC sucks. But that was so annoying. <laughs> Ugh.